Hi everyone, it's Gloria and welcome to another Heartfelt Creations video. Today I wanted to share with you some projects I created using this um, Vintage Nostalgia uh, paper collection by My Mind's Eye and it looks like it's by Jen Allison. Really, really like these um, colors and patterns. And then I also used, I used this uh, kit that includes um, this 12 by 12 sheet of um, die cuts and accessories. So I wanted to share that with you. And it is this uh, photo stand display. I will post a video of uh, the tutorial that I saw on YouTube on how to make this. And um, this is my, my take on it. It's very, 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 very uh, cute idea. It's just, I think... Um, it's meant, you know, it's just to be a display, something to put on your coffee table or uh, even your nightstand or something like that. Or your desk at work. be a super cute idea. So it's basically, um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five um, levels of photos that you can put, um, where you can put photos or journaling if you wanted to. So it can be kind of like a mini album on your desk kind of thing. So let me start with the top page up here. Um, I bound it um, with some ribbon that I got at Heartfelt. Um, I didn't like the binder rings um, that typically bind um, mini albums with. I just didn't like how it, the pages hung, hung from it, so I decided to go with the ribbon instead. And then I used um, heavyweight chipboard for the, um, the different pieces. And let's see, let me on this one. Okay, so on this one, this is a die cut from the accessories page, and it does have lines, so it could be for journaling or it could be a photo mat is what I intended it for it to be. This chipboard piece I put up on dimensionals and I inked the edges of the entire album and all of its pieces, both paper, the die cuts, and the chipboard with um, uh, Tim Holtz's vintage photo is what I did. I put this one up on dimensionals and I used a uh, flower punch that I have. Um, it's kind of small and I layered um, different uh, flower pieces together, make a flower and then I added um, uh, a brad that comes from it's uh, in the collection and it's just the decorative brad pieces and look how cute that is. They have some really, really cute ones, and I apologize for the glare. Um, so I used um, those to put in the center, and on this one is another brad that I just took the prongs off the back and just added it as kind of like a button uh, on top of this bow. And then I used some of the paper, um, and I used a heart punch of mine from my stash to cut this little uh, heart out. And I used um, glossy accents. I don't know if that's going to catch it, but I used glossy accents on the, on the heart. So that was cute. Okay, next page is this one here. Oops, sorry. And on this one, I just used, uh, made a larger photo mat using some um, off-white cardstock and inking everything again with vintage photo. I used a uh, flower punch of mine, and I just uh, did a bunch of layers of that. And again, the little flower punch, and then uh, a brad from the um, the collection have some uh, papers, pattern papers from the collection that I um, did a scalloped edge um, border on. And then this is a chipboard piece from the um, chipboard set, which is um, coordinating as well. And it's this one here. And I'm sorry, the, the, ones are, the ones I used are the ones that are missing. But that gives you kind of an idea. There's some sturdy chipboard pieces. Look at that border at the bottom. So there's some really cute pieces that I um, used, and this is one of them here. And again, I glossy accented the, the hearts at the, at the bottom. Okay, the next page is this one here. And on this one, uh, it's a larger photo mat. Again, um, all inked with vintage photo. Took a string and kind of just glued it down along the, the bottom there. Um, the idea was I was going to make it look kind of like a banner, like these are hanging from there. And these chipboard pieces are also from that, um, that uh, set of um, dimensional um, embellishments. And then, um, sorry, I about tipped that over. And then this heart, I used a bigger punch um, and made a bigger heart. And then I glossy accented that as well. And then took the excuse me, the prongs off of this brad. Uh, it's got a pearl center, and I just put that on top. 
So super cute and easy. This one here. Oops. Sorry. I put, pushed it down a little bit and I think I might try to see if I can zoom out. Oh, that's it. Okay. And this page here, um, this is an actual 4x6 photo mat. And um, I put this uh, die cut on the top and I adhered it just in the corner up here. So you can still slide a photo under, under there. And then I got some chipboard pieces, which are the the buttons here, and I just put uh, some string through them, through the holes, and just tied some knots. And then I matted um, I matted the uh, chipboard piece that says Happy Day on top of some decorative paper. And then um, with another flower punch, made some layers here of, of the bottom of the flower and freehand cut these leaves from the paper. And then this flower here, is uh, not part of this collection but it matched perfectly um, this is from Kaiser Craft and it's paper blooms in the sage color so all I did was um, just ink this one with vintage photo so that's what I did with that one okay and then the last page is this one here Let's see if I can put it all the way back there um, what I did here was again a 4x6 photo mat that I moved down just a little bit and added a, a border up here um, just a strip of paper from the collection and then one of the die cuts it's a shape of a ticket it says today again those flower punches on either side of that and then um, the glossy accented um, hearts in the center okay and then down here the bottom I just put a strip of the designer paper and um, added this this uh, circle here and these two layers and the brad are all one piece that come from the the um, decorative brads set so I just put that on there and then another one of those layered flowers with the brad in the center and then this chipboard piece from the collection and um, another brad through that little hole of the of this banner here and then I did do this scalloped edge um, on that piece okay and then um, Let's see, the back piece um, is just like I showed you earlier. It's just, I put the organza through it just to give it um, a way so that it wouldn't slide open all the way. So it just kind of stands nice and neat. Okay, so there's that. And then I went ahead with the same collection of um, papers that come in that kit and I made some cards. So the first one I made is this one here. And let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. There we go. Oops, sorry. Okay, so it's this one here, and I just used some ivory cardstock as my card base, and just put some uh, layered some of the design papers. This bottom one here, I just used a decorative edge scissor um, to cut that little strip there, and just give it some uh, just a different look, so I didn't have to just use the the scalloped edge. Um, and then um, I used my flower punch to do these here and then um, alternated the the brad colors in the center and then applied those and then this um, is a three-dimensional um, sticker and it comes from this uh, layered stickers collection from the same collection so there's some really cute pieces in there that are all three-dimensional okay so there's that one and the second card I made was this one here, and I just love the colors on this one. I really, really like the colors on this one. Um, pretty simple. I just uh, rounded the corner on this top right-hand side and put a Prima Crystal. And then before adhering the card front, I tied this ribbon around it for my stash and then layered on the paper and um, inked everything with... Um, no, on this one I didn't. I thought I inked this one with Vintage Photo, but I didn't. I did on the other one. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. And then this one, is, like I said, it's through one of the three-dimensional uh, layered stickers. So and it says, every day is a happy day when I'm with you. Really like the colors on that one. Okay, and then the third one I made, since uh, I based it on this, um, this banner that was part of the, the die cut sheet. It's a sweet little angel. And thought, yeah, these colors would go for a baby. So I decided to make a baby card. Um, so I just used this polka dot in the brown um, and then of course this green on the top and just layered. This banner I put up on dimensionals and then I did, took the prongs off of this brad and uh, just adhered it as a, as a button. So that one's a kind of a simple one and then these are from the chipboard um, elements sheet in the browns. So I really like that one too. 
Okay, and the last one is my absolute favorite of this one, uh, this collection. I just love it. Again, I used an ivory card base, and I just used papers that coordinated, and this comes from the die cut sheet. Um, so I just put some string um, down, laid some string down first, and then um, laid out the banner, and then tied some rib, uh, some bows at the end. And um, this is from the die cut sheet. Um, what I did was I put it up on some dimensional um, dimensionals onto a scallop circle that I used. Uh, I have a punch that I used for that, and I just set it on top of there. So it says thank you, and then just use the um, scalloped edge punch for the bottom of that. I thought that was a really cute one. That was my favorite. So there you have it. There's my projects for uh, using this collection this time around. Thank you so much for joining me and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.